guys, I could cry. I could cry. Like, I think, like, I'm, my eyes are watering a little bit, like, for joy tears. But, oh, my God, I hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> this is so big. Like, you have no idea. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your active auntie. Y'all, today I'm in Virginia on a fam vacay we're in virginia i don't know what town it's like near manassas and i'm sure people have heard of manassas somewhere near there but we rented this like farm house airbnb i guess i don't know it's called like farm west i don't know it's actually really nice but it's like old but it's nice and they had a tree house <laughs> i wish we were allowed to climb it because i would so do that if we were allowed you all see it but we're not allowed so that's dead but anyway there we go. I wanted to come onto the cam because did I already say that I reached a thousand subscribers? I finally reached a thousand subscribers on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. And I want to document my process of how I got there. Or just talk about, like, just talk about a little bit. Yeah, talk a little bit about how I got there because it was nothing like some people on this app. Okay, y'all, it's been a slow and steady journey for me trying to reach to a thousand subscribers. Now, I still have a ways to go to get to the watch hours, but it's still the, it's the subscribers for me. Like, I still can't believe I got there. Like, shout out, y'all. Thank y'all for pushing that button and supporting me. I'm very, very grateful. But I just want to document this kind of this video again for myself to look back on and be like, oh, this is when I hit it. I hit a thousand subscribers. Like, this is what I was doing. And also maybe to give anyone out there who might be a small youtuber encouragement because you can like you can look up how to get to a thousand subscribers right on youtube how to get a thousand subscribers on youtube like that's something that a lot of people will search because if you don't know you can monetize your channel when you get a thousand subscribers and you get four thousand watch hours i'm still not there yet but for some people like they want to get that thousand they want to get that thousand subscribers. They want to get them watch hours quick so they can start making money off their channel. Now, making monetization off my channel is a goal of mine. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really put pressures on myself to get to that goal like now or whenever. But I do want to talk about my process of how I got to a thousand subscribers because, like I said, it's been slow and steady. And for some people, they get it like that. And you can get, you can get dis discouraged because you're just like, why are they getting that and I'm not getting that? And I want to say for me, I think that maybe it did take me a little bit slower because I didn't necessarily have a niche. And they do say, like, you should have a niche. And I think that will help you grow your channel a bit faster if you do have a niche. But, hey, if you don't and you're just starting YouTube, you'll still reach 1,000 subscribers because I am literally a prime example. Like, I started my channel a year ago in May. It's July now, so over a little, a little over a year ago. And I started posting, my vi my videos were just kind of like workout videos. And I would just start to, and I just started to steady post workout videos. And I tried to do like game show, like just different movement type of videos. And then I got tired of it. But I guess that's not really for me to say about the tiredness. It's more for me to say about how I started off my channel completely different from where it is now. Like I started off with workout videos. And now I post bus videos, motorcycle videos, a little bit of lifestyle videos. Not really too much. I might do more. But... Yeah, like even with me changing my niche and stuff like that, I was still able to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you're someone that don't know what to post, like just start posting anything. Just start, po like just have fun with your video creating. Just have fun with what it is that you want to document. Like don't put too much pressure on yourself. Like just have fun with it if YouTube is something that you want to do. So that definitely is like a tip that you can still reach a thousand subscribers even if you don't have a niche. Do I still understand why people say have a niche? Yes, I do, because you might be able to get to uh, subscribers quicker, but if you don't, don't be discouraged because you can still get to that uh, thousand subscribers without a niche, because eventually I feel like you'll start to fall into what it is that you do want to record. So yeah, so that's that when it comes to niche. Then consistency. I know consistency is another huge part that people talk about that you have to be consistent with your posting and I agree now some people will say make sure you're posting twice a week three times a week you know and don't get me wrong will that possibly help you 
get to a thousand subscribers quicker yeah I'm not I don't I can't deny that you really don't know it might not it might but you probably have a high, higher chance of getting to a thousand subscribers if you did post more during the week me I don't do that I don't post two three times a week I post once a week I post every Sunday in the 15 months that I've been doing YouTube I have not missed a Sunday now if I did miss a Sunday then I posted it on Monday like I had I just I basically have not missed one week of posting so I definitely agree like once again with having consistency but I don't think you need to be well not say you don't need to like oh shoot you can post once a week and still reach that thousands that thousand subscriber threshold because I'm a prime example of it I post once a week and I reached it like I said it might take you longer but you'll still get there and honestly though I think that's really the two major the two two major things that people discuss when it comes to trying to expand your channel and, and grow your subscriber count grow your watch hours and it's not even let's not even talk about watch hours but just to grow your subscribers it's really about a niche I would say so now if you don't find it right away that's still fine because I'm prime example like I didn't find my niche right away I think I'm finally kind of getting into it a little bit more because I think my video my channel is turning more into a lifestyle channel and consistency I think consistency is huge even if your consistency is once a week at least you're still being consistent like don't post don't post once on a Saturday and then wait three weeks and post again like I think you need con con you definitely need consistency now do you need to post two three times a week like some people say on here no you don't because I reached a thousand subscribers without doing that so I think you know it's it's moving at your pace and whatever feels right for you where you can maintain longevity and not get burnt out because that's a huge part too you don't want to get burnt out um, and then lastly too I think what also helps is help grow my subscriber count which is what I agree with is shorts now I don't make shorts like I don't have a, a set schedule for shorts like I don't post shorts at all like there just might be a time where I'm like oh you know what I feel like making a short today and how I make a short and how I make a short is I literally just go to one of my long form videos and then I just kind of clip clip a part of my video and then I make it into a short and me doing that occasionally has grown my subscriber count as well but you you just have to make sure you clip something that is like that's people want to watch or I don't know but yeah I had to get better with that too but yeah so I definitely say that too if you want to do short some t clip clip shorts out of your long form videos that might help grow your subscriber count as well but yeah like I said it's it's I'm a, I'm someone that took a while to grow is growing my channel but I'm okay with it like I didn't I'm not I'm also not an individual who had a huge following on any other social medias like I have like 1900 followers on Instagram 300 on TikTok. like I organically started YouTube and organically I'm growing it I don't really do any type of marketing in my videos sometimes I might post on my Instagram like oh a new video is up I was doing that a lot in the beginning in like the first few months when I started YouTube so last year but then I kind of stopped it just I didn't I didn't want to do it like I just it just didn't feel right for me to do it and I just stopped doing it and so now I would just I just post my videos and whoever sees them sees them I don't necessarily market them too much on any other like I said on any other app sometimes occasionally I will post it on my YouTube but it's very occasion I don't do it often I genuinely am just organically growing my YouTube channel so that's what's really cool to see how I reached a thousand subscribers because I I didn't do it no special way I literally just posted and let the videos do what the videos do so or let and let the algorithm do what the algorithm does but I definitely have seen the most growth in my channel the, these past three months I've like I've literally have like doubled the same the, like so I think I had like 500 subscribers in my first year and and I have another 500 subscribers in like the past three months so that that just kind of I think comes from the niche part the niche or whatever me finally finding a niche that people want to see so like I said I do agree with niches if you can find yourself one but if you're not someone that has one and just wants to do YouTube you can still reach monetization goals but it just might be slow and steady but yeah
yeah, I just wanted to kind of speak on that. I hope this video helps someone that may be interested in starting YouTube or someone that might be feeling down about their progress. Like, don't. Like, you're going to get to monetization one day if that's one of your goals on YouTube. You know, you will get it. If Even if you're a, not as a consistent poster, like, you don't post twice a week, three times a week, or you don't really market it, like, you're going to get there, though, one day. You will. Because I can see that I'm getting there, slow and steady. But it's cool. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that. I hope this relates to anyone out there. Um, but, yeah, y'all, I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm hoping I can get back on my bike. I kind of had to take another little break from it with my injury that I had. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to enjoy VA with my fam, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!